I'm going to be talking about something that may, most people don't know about, which is campus debt, um, but also to talk about our building needs. More than half of the buildings on our 29 campuses were built in the 1950s and 1960s. Now, 60 years later, right, there's much need for modernization and improvement, and frankly, some buildings need to be completely replaced. Um, and the pandemic really exposed uh, the problems with these buildings, especially in terms of poor air quality. Um, we need new HVAC systems. Um, improving ventilation, uh, temperature control, humidity control would really help our students be able to learn better within those environments, and it would support the well-being of our campus employees. We really need some strategic upfront costs, right, to invest in our bu buildings. And um, we need healthy technologies in green, you know, green technologies so that we can reduce the greenhouse gas emissions, right, on our campuses, but also in the long term, reap the benefits of um, energy savings. So I want to give you a concrete example of what's wrong with campus facilities in Massachusetts. So I teach at Salem State. I've been there since 1998, and we have, a, I got to put a blog, exceptional programs, and you know the health and biological sciences, great theater program, great hockey team still, <laughs> yeah, among very many other programs. Um, but our main building for arts and sciences, Meyer Hall, which was built in 1964, hasn't been modernized at all. You should see our labs. They're worse than most middle school. Middle school labs are much better than what we have. Um, and we also have some serious HVAC problems in that building. And in the spring, they had to shut the building down in the middle of the semester because a great crack between the two wings popped off tiles and, 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 and created problems. So we had to go remote. Um, our campus presidents, the current one, President Keenan and President Masurvey before, had been repeatedly submitting proposals to the Commonwealth to improve this facility but other important capital projects, and we kept getting rejected because DCAM, who uh, reviews these proposals, said it was just too expensive. <laughs> Luckily, um, in the spring, we got an approved proposal that includes new wet labs in, in Meyer Hall, much needed, um, which is great news. We're celebrating it. However, the cost of construction is only going to be funded 50% by the Commonwealth. The rest of the, the funding for that needs to come from the campus. We're going to use up some rever reserves. We don't have deep reserves. We might have to do some borrowing. We may have to raise student fees. Right now, President Keenan's out pounding the pavement, like looking for, for fund, you know, fundraising, looking for donations so that we can do this project. It shouldn't be this way. Um, unfortunately, for the past few decades, support for capital projects across our campuses has not kept pace with the growing backlog of deferred maintenance. Um, you see, in response to this situation, our campus leaders have increasingly turned to borrowing to make up the difference in the, uh, the underfunding. And students are paying the price for the, the cost of campus buildings, maintenance, including academic buildings and auxiliary services. To give you a sense of the magnitude of the problem, the UMass system has $3 billion in outstanding capital debt. The Massachusetts State Colleges have $1.2 billion in outstanding debt. Our community colleges have a billion and deferred maintenance projects just aren't getting done. On average, students at Massachusetts State Colleges and UMass pay over $2,500 a year, a year, just for their campus's building debt. There was a time when the Commonwealth picked up 100% of the costs of important capital improvements and didn't jeopardize the campus's finances nor put students in debt. Our students deserve healthy and modern campus facilities paid for by the state and not through student fees. The Commonwealth owns the land and the buildings on these campuses and has the responsibility to take care of them. Thank you.